Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're entering the world of social skills, and I'm going to be breaking down a concept known as the Michelangelo phenomena. The first time I heard of Michelangelo was when I was roughly in the third grade, and we had this entire week where we were breaking down a lot of the famous artists and sculptors from the past. I learned about Langston Hughes, Leonardo da Vinci, and I eventually learned about Michelangelo. The main takeaway that I got from his entire uh, career was that he was an amazing sculptor. Uh, he was one of those individuals where you give him uh, this big block and he will chisel away at it in order to show the art underpinning the block. He was a sculptor. And the Michelangelo phenomena is a psychological principle that states that human beings are sculpted by those who we deem important. And there's even an addition to this. Not only are we sculpted in a very subjective level, where we begin to take up a lot of their mannerisms, but I would even argue that we are sculpted in a physical level. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, did you ever see one of those moments where uh, there's a couple that begins to look like each other? In the initial stages, they didn't look like each other. But the longer that they were together, the more that they physically began to seem like siblings. I'll give you two examples. And you could agree or disagree with it, uh, but this is my opinion. Donald Trump and Melania Trump, uh, they both have this face. And Tom Brady and his wife Giselle, they also have a very similar face where if they weren't posing in pictures together, I'd be like, I could see them being siblings. So with the Michelangelo phenomena, not only are we being influenced on a subjective level, and this is where the whole quote, if you hang out with five losers, you're going to become the sixth, uh, quote comes from. Uh, but we're also getting influenced on a physical level. Now, I would even make one more remix to the Michelangelo phenomena in this era. Not only are we getting sculpted by people, we're also getting sculpted by content. See, books were not something that was always reserved for everyone. For a long time, books were only reserved for a certain, uh, select group of people. But over time, uh, your boy Gutenberg, uh, he got the printing press rolling and information became more mainstream. Since then, uh, newspapers started to become a thing. Penny newspapers started to become a thing. And then the whole ARPANET internet transition occurred. And nowadays, more and more people have access to content. You wanna learn how to cook? Well, go on YouTube and learn how to cook. You want to learn how to write? Well, buy a book on how to write. There is content all over the place. But understand this, not all content is good content. And what I mean by this is that not all content has the correct intent. We have to ask that question. What is the intent that someone is creating with? Are they trying to educate or are they trying to spread propaganda with the illusion of looking out for others? A lot of these creators online, they're not, um, I wouldn't say that they're bad people, but I wouldn't say that they're good people either. A lot of these individuals, their main mindset is what's going to get eyeballs? What's going to get clicks? How is the algorithm going to reward me? And that's not a bad thing either. Uh, it's a, objective way to look at reality. And by looking at reality in this objective way, what begins to happen is that, okay, I can now navigate this media landscape in a much more effective way because this dude named Michelangelo was talking about sculpting and his phenomena states that there are entities out there, not only human beings, but content that will sculpt me, my future. So that's one of the main things that we need to understand. In the upcoming generation, one of the most important topics is going to be media literacy. This is the ability to create uh, media. 
to consume media in a strategic manner and to evaluate the intent of media. What is this person trying to really showcase to me? Is this person really trying to teach me a lasagna, uh, how to cook lasagna? Or is this person trying to convince me that uh, going on an all lasagna diet is the way to go and all other diets are incorrect? By being able to see the invisible intent behind content, we become much more mindful of what we are consuming. That doesn't mean that uh, we cannot consume entertainment ever again. It's simply to remind ourselves, before we consume this content, let's at least know that this is entertainment. And once we accept and label that this is entertainment, now it's not going to be subtly brainwashing us. Michelangelo, uh, I've seen a lot of his art. I'm a big fan of it, but I would be lying if I said that I wasn't a bigger fan of his uh, social law. Michelangelo phenomena is a social law that you want to be aware of because we are consistently being sculpted whether we're aware of it or not. If you enjoyed today's talk, go on and drop that like for me right on below and stay subscribed to the Armani Talks YouTube channel for uh, three weekly videos on topics such as public speaking, social skills, writing, and much more. Uh, thank you, and I will catch you on the next episode.